going on everybody beastly gamer here welcome to the beastly gamer channel and today we're going to talk about how the political correct movement or should i say the agenda of the political correct continues to push its ever greedy fingers deeper into our pockets deeper into our crevices putting them where they should not be and trying to force everyone into a similar mind state so the sims games have apparently removed gender barriers in video games and part of this really frustrates me because as a father of young girls and young boys i know that there's only two sexes a lot of people get confused nowadays or at least less than three percent of us gets confused and they don't know that there are only men and women some people think that there are x's and y's and and, and betas and, and alphas i don't know what these people call themselves because it seems like every other year there's an extra letter on the lgbt a, B, C, D. I don't know. It's always something more. They always want more. Pretty soon they're going to have more letters in that shit than the fucking alphabet. Anyway, now The Sims game has removed gender barriers to be politically correct. This is another sign that major companies are falling right in line with this agenda to pretend that genders don't exist. They're pretending that if you're born with a Johnson, you're not a male. That if you're born with a vagina, you're not a female. That you're assigned an identity which is bullshit i'm sorry if you guys don't agree we're gonna have to agree to disagree you know i saw my sons born i listened to their voices as they got older and started going through puberty i watched my daughters being born i like i, I see what they grow up playing with and they hear their voices and the things that they do they're boys and girls there's only two but anyway the article continues sims removes gender barriers in video games the creators of The Sims are opening up gender customization options for the first time in the long-running history of the popular life simulation video game. The Sims publisher Electronic Arts and developer Maxis said a free update is available Thursday for The Sims 4. It will remove gender barriers and allow players to create virtual townsfolk, or Sims as they are known, with any type of physique, walk style, or voice they choose. The Sims 4 and earlier installments of the 16-year-old franchise previously restricted specific clothing, hairstyles, and other aesthetic options to either male or female characters. EA and Max has said more than 700 pieces of content previously available to only male or female Sims will now be accessible regardless of gender in The Sims 4 and its various expansion packs. The studio said in a statement it wanted to quote, make sure players can create characters they can identify with or relate to through powerful tools that give them influence over the Sims' gender, age, ethnicity, body type, and more, end quote. While previous additions to The Sims have featured character customization restrictions based on gender, users have unofficially modified the PC game over the years to remove such barriers. The Sims 4 executive producer Raphael Franklin said in an email to the Associated Press that the developers have been working for over a year on the update. She noted that, quote, female Sims can wear sharp men's suits like Ellen DeGeneres and male Sims can wear heels like Prince, end quote. Jesus Christ. Franklin also noted players can now change their Sims gender at any time and <laughs> and specify whether or not they can reproduce with other characters. She said Max has worked with the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender advocacy group GLAD <laughs> on the update, including following a suggestion to remove gender symbols associated with characters in the game's gallery. What is happening? Now, before any of you uh, people who don't know me get into the comments say, Oh my god, dude, you're being a bigot. No, I'm not. A bigot is somebody who actually disparages someone based on something they do. I don't dislike anybody. I don't dislike any gay person, any person who's confused about their sexual identity. Because really, that's the whole truth of the matter. Your DNA tells what you are, and your DNA cannot lie. Until you get an option to change your biological DNA makeup, you are what you're born as. You're either male or you're a female. And if you're confused about that, then you're confused, but it doesn't change the fact of what you are. Uh, and, and so doing this and really confusing people who just believe everything they hear on TV and the media is really doing a disservice to people uh, around the world, especially here in America, because Americans believe everything they hear on the news. You don't have a gender identity. You're not assigned a gender identity. 
you're either one of the two. You might be one of the very few born as a hermaphrodite. That's an actual thing where you're a male and a female. Now, those people, yeah, you can choose, you know, because you're going to have very, very unique DNA. But for the 99.9% .9 of the rest of us, there are going to be either one or two gender options that you are not assigned to, born with. You're born with this. You didn't, there's no piece of paper. The doctor didn't say, check boy, check girl. It's either one or the other. And so with these companies jumping on, it's so weird that it seems like it's just forced down the throat of everybody. It's such a small uh, demographic of people who are afflicted with these, these situations. It just, to me, it seems mind boggling that it seems to be forced on the masses of the rest of us. You know, uh, it just blows my mind. I got little girls and I got young sons, period. Nobody's confused here. We all know what it is. And so now uh, The Sims, which of course isn't based on a real reality type simulation, uh, they've they've gone the extra mile to appease uh, everybody. And I, I think everybody should be happy, but when it, it goes out of the way to make normal feel, quite frankly, taboo, I have a problem with that. Because honestly, the LGBT community and the movement, while it may under uh, you know the microscope seem like a altruistic movement and good for people, the movement that everybody should be supporting and touting is the one that brought you here. Men and women get together and have children. That is the human way. That is the way that 99.9% .9 of animals on this planet procreate. We should be protecting that. We should be talking to kids about that because that, in fact, is how we make one another. You know, this whole depopulation thing is seeming more and more real. All the conspiracy theories are seeming more and more real because they're confusing these young kids that they're born with gender identities. And it's just stupid. It's really not the case. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I've never been a big Sims player. You know, I, I used to mess around with it years ago, but I never really got into it like that. But you guys let me know what you think. Does this matter? Uh, do you think we'll see more and more developers moving right in line with this agenda to uh, remove gender identities and let you, you know, put an olive down there or put a, a honey bun down there or just put a cinnamon roll down there if you want? Let me know what you think below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Leave your comment. I know this is going to be a controversial video. Leave a comment. Let me know how you think. I do respect all opinions. Please respect mine. I'm not an authority. I am not an elected official. I'm a YouTuber, and that's the way I feel about it. So please respect that. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll holla at y'all next time. It's high.